Welcome to class, everyone. Today we are going to be talking about fractions. So first, I would like some volunteers. Who would like to volunteer? Oh, Anyone? Me. Anyone? Me. Um, how about you and you two can come to the front for me and just wait. So, first of all, we're going to see how many students we have. So how many students are up front? Two. Two. That is correct. Now we're going to see how many apples we have. How many apples are on the cutting board? Three. 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 Okay, so if I were to divide these three apples between you two students, how much apple, what fraction of apple would each of you get? What's your guess? For starters, one, right? One each. Okay. And then we'd have to split the other one into two pieces. Okay, so how much would each person get? So they get one and a half. One and a half, is that our guess? Okay, we'll go ahead and put that on the board. Now, I am going to cut up the apples. So I'm going to cut them all in half first. So how many pieces do we have if I cut them all in half? How many pieces? does each person get? Three. Three, that is correct. One, two, three. Thank you. One, two, three. Good job. Now, can you put those apples together to make any holes? Yes. So how much do you have? One and a half. A hole and a half. That is correct. Now, I am going to take two of those apples away. Actually, I'm going to take So we're going to take these apples out. Now I'm going to take a whole apple again. So now we have how many apples? Just one. One, one apple. And how many students? Two. Two students. So if I were to divide that one apple between two students, how many apples do you think each student would have? Half. Half of an apple. They would have one over two, right? Okay, so if I cut the apple, there's two parts, right? And each of you get a part. So you have one part of the two parts, right? Yes. Thank you for volunteering. Now you may go back to your seats. We can eat apples later. So, now we're going to look at the difference between these two fractions. What is the difference you notice? Do you see anything different about it? The same? What, what do you see that's the same? The half. So they both have one half, right? What's different about them? The one has the, the whole. One has the whole, right? So we have a whole one. So this difference, since it has a whole, we call this a complex fraction. And this is a simple fraction. So you guys just figured out the definition of a complex fraction and a simple fraction. And you did that all by yourselves with a little bit of help of apples and me. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And that's the end of the lesson. Okay, we're done.